I'm Walter Johnson from Michigan Barbecue Addicts, and today we're making ourselves a peach cobbler on the char grill. Let's get it done. Any peach cobbler is good. I tell you what, this is gonna be a game changer. For this recipe, you're gonna need yourself eight peaches fresh from Georgia. What we're doing here is taking a sharp knife, cutting them in half, and exposing the seeds. Once you get all of them cut in half, go ahead and take those seeds out. You're not going to need them for this. Once you're done with the seeds, you're going to go ahead and brush each peach with some olive oil to prevent it from sticking to the grill. Wow, that's hot. All right, we got the coals dumped in. We're going to be placing our cast iron right on the grates, indirect heat. And we're also going to be putting a stick of butter in there until it gets to 375 degrees. Once we hit that temperature, we're going to go ahead and put the peaches face down on the grill grates directly over the fire so we can get them heated up. Alright, so we got our peaches on. Now, the big thing that you got to worry about with these is the natural sugars. So with sugar and heat, they have a risk of burning. All we're trying to do is get some nice grill marks on these things. So then we're going to let them rest for a little bit. This is exactly what we're looking for. So we got that butter melting in the cast iron right now. What I got here are all the dry materials as I've listed in the comments. What we're going to do is mix it with two thirds of cup buttermilk. We're doing a double batch today because it's peach season, baby. Once you got all that, we're going to mix together until all the lumps are gone. We've let the peaches rest for about 10 minutes now that they're cool. We're going to go ahead and dice them up into bite-sized pieces and then we're gonna be adding them right back into our cast iron with our batter. Time to assemble. Now you're gonna go ahead and add your batter and mix the peaches in. After 35 minutes in the smoker, this baby's done. This is a really good recipe. You had that nice buttery crust, that cold vanilla ice cream, and those sweet Georgia peaches. Absolute game changer.